Today we're going to talk about flex screw systems and augers. Formpack offers many sizes and styles of auger and many size casings for their customers needs. On the table here we have standards like this three and a half flat bar auger. It's three and a half OD, it has a two inch ID, a three and a half inch pitch and it's one of our most popular styles for all of our customers. If moving a heavier product or more granular product that changes the style of auger a customer may need. As you can see this auger is thicker bar but it has virtually the same dimensions as the previous. Another offering for a heavy granular product which a customer may need a screw to really cut through we offer a beveled edge auger. As you can see it has a small slice on the outside edge. It measures the same as the previous about three and a half or four inches OD with a two inch ID and a three and a half inch pitch. Also customers may need a round bar auger. Round bar auger offers better flow rates with large granular items that could get jammed and stuck in the, the casing. This one here is two and three eighths or three inch round bar auger. It has a one and a half to 1.75 ID and a three inch pitch. Another auger for smaller operations is a flat bar auger that is two and three eighths OD. It has a one and a half ID and a two inch pitch. Each one of these augers is meant for better application processes. When placing the augers in a flex screw system, often quoted would be the size of the casing that the screw runs in. Here, this outer casing is a four and a half inch OD casing, our most popular size. In this casing, a customer could use the heavy duty flat bar auger, as you can see, the normal flat bar auger, which is our best seller, the beveled edge auger, all work in the same casing. At times, when customers use a round bar auger, it's often because the size of their product could get jammed between the side walls of the auger and the casing. So they move down to a round bar auger. Round bar augers are known to move heavy granular products better, such as sugar and salt. They jam less and can move more material as freely as a flat bar auger. In smaller operations, you have a smaller auger and it fits comfortably inside a three inch casing and this allows uh, good flow rates and it's for smaller length casings required. Also some customers require what's known as a center core. Sometimes a product when it's on an elevated screw flows back through the auger. So we place a center core inside. As you can see there, this center core fills up the inside of that auger. In the operation, as the screw is turning and moving material up, material fills this center core and it doesn't allow the material to backflow down the elevated auger. This increases your production but it also increases the weight that's inside that flex screw. So in most situations an auger and casing is all that's needed. This auger and casing combination has very little side to side flexible room. It could jam but it's probably not going to be used with anything that would jam. It would be used with granular stuff that it would churn through really nice. 
in a customer's requirement that the backflow is prevented and we use the center core, this is how that would look. You have a four and a half inch casing with a one and three quarters inch center core and the ID of the auger, remember, is two inches. This goes together nice, keeps the material moving and no backflow.